Okay, I'm starting this early because I think there's going to be a TED talk. What did you bring me, Ted? What was the talk about? Oh, it's a face mask. <laughs> Safety first, Ted. Well done. Well done, Ted. So that was a TED talk. We started the day, we started the treat. I was, I was just about to put some serum on my face and then I was gonna start the tutorial, but then I saw him go and find that mask, or I don't know what it was actually. And then, um, so we had to start early. Okay, so I'll finish this now. Just put some serum all over. This is the Victoria Beckham face serum. I quite like this just as a moisturizer slash base for foundation. Now I've picked up a few bits from my studio because I had to pop in anyway, just to check everything was okay. So I just had some things that had been sent to me. So I haven't tried any of these before, but I picked up a few bits that looked interesting. Starting with this CC cream by Juice Beauty. And this is not a, let's go and buy all these products kind of thing. I'm just picking up stuff and trying it out. So it's more of a look that I'm gonna to do today. I thought I'd do, cause I've still got my makeup kit here. I left the kit as it was. I went through the colors last night and um, I had my blue palette with me, blue palette of eyeshadows, which I often take on jobs with Ava because um, I've done that kind of blue eyeshadowy look on her before and I really like it. So I'm going to do, not quite as strong, I'll put a picture up of this look that I did for the Dumbo premiere in Paris, which was very strong kind of blue and black eyeliner. And I'm not gonna go as full on as that today, but I'm gonna do a little bit more of a wearable version of that. Mm, this is nice. It smells nice. It's sort of, there's a bit of coverage. It's not heavy coverage, but it's evening out my skin. We've had so many TED Talks. There used to be about three a week. Yesterday, there was about seven. So we've decided that Ted is actually a key worker because he's providing a public service of boosting morale. Here come the seagulls. I never understood why seagulls came across the house at certain times of the day until a couple of years ago and someone explained to me it's the um, when they feed the sea lions at London Zoo. <laughs> Actually, because I'm using blue eyeshadow, I probably should have done the concealer afterwards. Never mind. These are the blues that I've taken on the actual day of the job. So not all of my blues. These are the blues that I obviously thought were gonna look good on her. Um, but I'm going to use this one on me, which is a really kind of vivid matte primary blue and probably this lighter blue here. Um, this one is a long con one after dark and this one looks like a Suki or maybe, no, it's a Japanese one. Three colors, I think it's called. Okay, I've just moved around slightly because I think the light is moving around. So trying just to keep it as even as possible. So starting with a wash of the lighter blue all across my eyelid. I see that Betty's joined us. Menacingly, that's her telling me. Fail to feature me in this next tutorial at your peril. My life won't be worth living if she's not somehow given a starring role at some point. Especially as Ted started with a bit of a talk at the beginning. Ugh. <laughs> okay, so just going all over. I'm just gonna do one eye, actually. And then we can do everything here so you can see better. Can I just say thank you so much for all the amazing comments on the last video that I made. So lovely, so supportive. 
it was just like a huge wave of loving energy. And I just loved that everyone was kind of chipping in and answering and commenting on other people's comments. And it was just so, so lovely. And I read every single comment and continue to do. It's like, first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is look at the comments and think, oh, this person's doing that across the world. This other person's doing that. And just so many incredible stories. Same light blue, and Betty's move around, she's right in my eye line. This is really telling me, she's gotta be featured. <laughs> this blue has a little bit of an iridescent pearl. I don't know if that's gonna notice. Or can I just say as well that when I stopped the camera, I just played it back. And um, I noticed that my hair was wild and feral, which is kind of what it is at the moment. I've not been doing anything to it. So I did put some cream in, put some of this hair cream in since the last take. Um, I've got a tip about this actually. I'm, don't take tips about from me about hair ever. Anyone will tell you that. But I have worked with some of the best hairdressers in the world over the years. And I've picked up some really good things. And I know one of the best tips I ever got for someone with frizzy hair, I used to put the cream through like this. And then Malcolm Edwards, who's a really good hairdresser, told me that take it in sections with the cream on and push it into the hair. Because just doing this through the top is not going to do anything. So I always make sure that I do that when I, whenever I do it, uh, whenever I kind of put cream through my hair and try and nourish it. It probably just needs like a proper blow dry and a tongue. But as I say, everything is going feral here. I haven't even hadn't shaved my legs until last night. So it had almost three weeks of growth. So that was quite interesting. And um, yeah, my eyebrows are getting a little bit feral as well. So just pushing that cream through. That is the Hershison's um, Almost Everything Cream, which I really like because it's not too greasy. Because I've got kind of frizzy hair and it's sort of bushy, but if I put anything oily on it, it looks really stringy and thin. So with that one, I find it's nice. Anyway, sorry, little hair interlude there. Um, next I'm going to use, let me get a brush, same brush actually, the one that I went through the lower lash line with. I'm gonna go in with the really vibrant blue. I'm gonna start off on the lower lash line. Just gonna tap some of that into the roots of the lashes. Gonna smudge that out in a moment. And I'm going to use this slightly stubbier brush just to start to push into the kind of edge of my eyes into the socket line. Now, when I'm doing blue on myself or any strong colors, I and I tend to do this as well with clients, I never do that kind of paint by number thing where you do this, like the light color there, then you do the cut crease, then you do that. I kind of feel my way in makeup. So I'll put something on and then add a bit more and maybe put a bit there where I hadn't intended to. And I just like to build up and keep stepping back. I'm just starting to blend that now. All in together. Gonna add a bit more of the deeper blue in a second. Okay, going in with the small brush again, and do a little bit of the more intense blue through the lash line on the top there. I do love blue eyeshadow with brown eyes. I mean, anything, I just love the way Whenever you put anything that's warm next to something cool, like I love blue next to orange, because if you put blue or purple next to orange, it just makes the orange glow extra strong. Likewise, if you put orange or warm tones next to blues and purples, purpley blues, they really, really glow. Having said that, I also like blue eyes with blue eyeshadow. 
I don't mind that at all. I've done it lots for sort of clients and well, Ava's a good example. You know, there is a way of having that intensity with all of the playing on all of the blues and having that kind of, I don't know, just, you know, where everything becomes one wash of blue. It's, that's very beautiful as well. So I don't think there's any like really hard and fast rules. So I'm just taking my time to go quite slowly to get my shape together really, because for me it's like getting the shape is the most important thing. So it's more like sketching out, you know, sitting back and just seeing, yeah, actually that can come up a little bit or, and also trying to imagine when the mascara's on or maybe some eyeliner that I might use and how that's going to change the effect as well. So I'm gonna stop there for now and do the other eye. I'm also gonna save this section because I feel like I've got a horrible feeling I'm not gonna be able to save long sections. So I'm gonna stop here, do the other eye, and I'll be back in a moment. So I've just picked up the subject of Tez talk, his short talk this morning, and it was not one, but two face masks. So I think this really cements Ted's key worker status and I think we can all guess what he was saying please wear your face masks if you go out to stop spreading the virus so well done Ted so I've just picked out a pencil and this is a nice blue gray pencil what I thought I'd do with this is just take it through not so much the well into the waterline but really on that edge as well where the um sort of the lash line meets the underneath and also through the upper lashes as well. Almost underneath, into the upper waterline. So how's everyone feeling? I mean, it's all, depends where you are. It's second week of lockdown, although I think this is day 18, I could have locked down myself a little bit earlier, um, but second or third week for some people, first week for some people, depends where you live. Um, but it's, it's such a strange feeling and the UK government was saying that maybe it's gonna be extended and could be up to six months. I feel like I'm hardly doing anything and I wake up and I have maybe two things on my list and if you're finding this, maybe things that I've said I'm gonna do and then suddenly it's 10 o'clock at night and I cannot believe I've sort of not really done anything. So I'm trying to not be hard on myself. I've been terrible at exercising. I keep seeing all these vlogs and people that are doing these exercise classes and these all these different things. I've not done anything like that. It's on my list every day and so far I haven't done it. So I'm giving my eyelashes a really good curl. I'm gonna do the shape and the blending and everything of this eyeshadow once the mascara's on. I'm gonna put the Hypnose Doll Eyes black mascara so really black and quite flared out lashes yeah let me know how you finding it I mean it's I guess if you've got young children at home that you're homeschooling you've got that added kind of pressure to do that as well which must be really really hard taking it through the lower lashes and just really getting down to the roots while I'm just waiting for that first layer to settle in before I do another layer of mascara. I'm just gonna work a little bit more on my shape on the eyes. Did I lock the, yeah, I think the, I'm always worried that it's going light and dark and light and dark. Okay, just looking at the shape there. While I wait for that to settle in, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Because I've got kind of a strong eye makeup on, for me, I don't have a lot of space there. So if I do a very dark brow or a very defined brow, sometimes it can really close my face. It sort of restricts everything and makes everything shrink down. So I want my brow to be quite open and quite light. So I'm just going to fill it a little bit. I mean, it, everyone's face is different. Some people can really take, some people have naturally very thick dark brows anyway, so that's fine. But if you are someone that doesn't have very, very thick brows and 
doesn't have a lot of space. If you make them very thick and dark next to a darker or a strong eye makeup, you just really close the whole area down. You lose that openness in the face. So I'm just gonna go not too dark. Keep this area quite open as well. I'm just gonna use the Orgasm, I think this is called Orgasm X. So it's a slightly stronger version of the Orgasm blush, which is quite corally. And just bring that onto the cheeks. Might put a little bit of this on my eyes as well. When I'm blending the color in. I live near, um, quite near two hospitals actually in London and you can hear sirens constantly, which is awful. So I'm just adding a bit of orange just into the inner corner there. Thing sometimes about blue and purple eyeshadows is that if you are have blue or purple in your under eye area, even if you've concealed, sometimes when you put on these sorts of colors on your eyes, you'll suddenly look darker underneath. So you might have to go in right at the end with something peachy. I'm gonna use the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is my own one. I think this is quite nice just to Keep it and just massage that in. So, just making final touches here. I am going to get Betty over. See, she's sitting in the corner there. So I'm going to have to give her a close-up before we finish this tutorial. Otherwise, oh, oh my God, she will be fuming. So that's the finished look. Ends up being sort of blue with a bit of orange. The queen is here, so just bring her in. Sorry you weren't in the last video, Bets. I know it was an awful affrontage, and I know you'll never forgive me, but maybe this will go some way to making it up to you. Okay, keep safe, everyone. Send me lots of comments. I love to read them. Let me know how you're doing. If you've got any more suggestions, please let me know as well, and I'll see you soon.